Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure EFA. This is the first video of the EFA configurations. As we go forward with the series, I will try to explain the options at each video. Here we are setting up EFA as the incoming scanner. We will describe only the options required for EFA to act as the incoming server. Here we are implementing this scenario. EFA will receive mail from the internet and after scanning it will deliver to the mail server. On later video I'll show you how to configure EFA as the outgoing mail scanner. So let's get started. Let's log into EFA system with the CLI user. So we are logged into the system. Here you can see various EFA settings are grouped with few levels. Here first few options 0, 1, 2, 3. These are uh, self-explanatory. We can log out from the shell. We can access the shell. We can reboot the system and we can shut down the system. So let's select option 4 to see our network settings. Here you can see boot protocol none, IPv6 autoconf, yes, we need to change it, we don't need to set it yes. Do you want to use IPv6 auto configuration? No. This is our IP, subnet, use IPv6 DNS, no, DNS recursion enabled, and hostname EFA and domain name is the mailserverguru.com. DNS recursion enabled, this option is the most important here. We need caching DNS for any mail scanner system because lots of name resolution is necessary during email transaction for domain checking, RBL checking by mail scanner, spam assassin and uh, mail server also. If you can answer the repetitive DNS query from its cache that will be faster for email processing. So to see details about the DNS recursion let's uh, log into the shell. Let's go back. One for shell. Here you can see that on 53 port our service is unbound so we are using unbound DNS cache system. Here you can see that this is version 1.6.6. Uh, our system is using its own uh, name server listening on the loopback IP to resolve any uh, DNS query. So now for testing if we run a DNS query like dighotmail.com here you can see that its query time is 806 millisecond. Now if we hit the same query again you can see that query time is 0 millisecond. That means it giving its response from the cache let's dump its cache to see that the uh, query result is in its cache and if we read the test cache grep hotmail here you can see that the query results are in its cache now if we hit the dig command again we can see that it's uh, giving its response within a zero millisecond. Now if we flush its cache and hit the dig again, you can see that it's querying again from the root name servers to resolve the hotmail's detail. If we dig again, so it will answer from its cache. So that means that um, for repetitive query, it will uh, get its response from the cache for faster response. So it will increase the speed of um, a mail processing for EFA. So let's get back to the EFA configuration. So on the IP settings, we don't need anything to change here. So let's get back. Let's see option five, tunables. Modify mail scanner children, modify processing attempt during mail scanner configuration change. I will show you the details. Mail watch setting. 
this is the mail watch setting uh, which is our um, GUI interface uh, from here we can uh, toggle gray listing we can switch the gray listing feature on or off if you see here it says that some sysadmins uh, actually don't like the gray listing feature to be enabled because uh, it, it creates some delay uh, during the first uh, email transaction from the server so not all the system had been actually like this feature so we are um, um, leave it enabled let's hit C cancel reset mail watch admin uh, quarantine retention per user scoring max main geo light to license key I'll show you these settings on later video no problem uh, in this video it's not possible to uh, show you everything so let's get back let's hit seven mail settings outbound mail relay so currently we are not using this server as our outgoing server so we are not changing anything here uh, but what this option actually says that with this option you can configure EFA to relay outgoing message for your local mail server or clients if you see the diagram here you can see that our local subnet so if you want to allow this subnet to relay mail through this EFA system then we have to um, mention here so I'll show you um, during the outgoing server configuration I'll show you details here so let's get back to the configuration outbound smart host uh, if we do not want to uh, send mail from our server directly we can we can use a smart host or ISP level server uh, then our EFA will receive mail from the client and it will deliver the mail to the uh, smart host for the um, final delivery admin email we can change admin email here we don't need right now uh, transport setting let's hit this because this is the most important here right now so for the mail server guru.com's mail it will receive mail and it will deliver to the original mail server this, this is the mailbox server where the actual email user resides so this one's name is mailer.mailserverguru.com so let's check that our EFA can resolve the name of mailer.mailserverguru.com currently EFA is using its caching only DNS system so EFA will not be able to uh, resolve the name of this uh, server so we need to change some uh, settings at the unbound so that it uses our local mail server as a forwarder so let's get back to the main menu let's access to shell now if we ping mailer dot mail server guru dot com you can see that name or service not known because it does not know the IP address of mailer.mailserverguru.com in this scenario we are using a local DNS server so this EFA DNS caching system uh, must communicate with the local uh, DNS server uh, to resolve mailserverguru.com's domains details so let's change some setting Here you can change forward zone and this 99.25 is our local DNS server now if we ping mailer.mailserverguru.com again here you can see that it can resolve the name here we back at the mail configuration settings we set up the transport setting it's now okay the last option is automated recipient verification before EFA delivers the mail to the mail server it should create a probe request to see that the email user actually exists on the mail server without sending that mail directly and it can respond back to the sender that is the mail user is valid or not so this is enabled by default we are leaving it as it is so let's get back to the our mail server let's see our mail server is running yes the postfix is running
let's send a mail now if we send a mail to muna at mailsoftwarego.com subject system check let's hit send and on the EFS shell let's stay on var log mail log here you can see that a mail came from the munavaya at gmail.com to muna at mailsoftwarego.com and this is the default behavior of gray listing that first it's no queued the mail it's rejected temporarily and receive an address rejected gray listed for five minutes from munavaya at gmail.com so if the mail sender is an original sender its server will retry to connect to my server again so efa will detect the mail session and it will auto whitelist the email sender so next time when the sender sends the mail it will just pass the mail to the mail server so we have to wait here five minutes now you can see that our gmail server uh, tried to connect again to deliver the mail and this time the EFA released the mail so these are mail watch log this is SQL gray log it says deleted one message from the processing database so it finally releases the mail from the queue and delivers to the mailer.mailservergroup.com now if we go to our mail server now you can see that from gmail to muna at mailservergroup.com relay local now it delivered to the mailbox now if we go to the web interface here you can see the mail from gmail.com to moonlightmailsubgo.com subject and this is the spam assassin score and status clean if we go to the details view so here you can see they received on received by and this is the message header you can see the details so we have successfully configured the EFA and we are receiving mail from the internet and delivering to the mail server so our EFA and mail server all are working fine so thank you for being with me and I'll see you on the next video bye